Let's dial in your Streamlabs OBS settings for recording in less than five minutes. Now, this is assuming that you've already got Streamlabs OBS. If not, go over to Streamlabs.com. By the way, this is for PC users only. Mac, it just won't work for you. Now, if you're wanting to, say for instance, do the quick and easy recording with a headshot and a microphone, easy peasy. Now, if you're doing streaming, keep in mind that this is going to eat up more resources as you're streaming, especially if you're a gamer that's wanting to record everything as you're going through. Uh, I'd recommend just downloading the footage and using that instead, but if you want a lossless quality, then you can probably natively record it through Streamlabs OBS. Let's get to it. Select the drop down above the scenes window. Click Manage All, then click Create New. Title your recording scene, then click the Done button. Now click the plus symbol above Sources, then select Video Capture Device, then click Add Source. Locate your camera in the device dropdown. If you have to select Configure Video to dial in your camera settings, do so now. For now, I find that my camera settings are just fine. I keep my resolution on device default, but you're welcome to change it to custom, then switch the resolution in the frames per second. Click Done. Now click the sprocket next to the mic auxiliary slider under the mixer window. Select Properties, then find your mic under the device dropdown. Don't skip this step because sometimes Streamlabs OBS will default to the wrong microphone and then you're going to probably end up with some potato quality. I wouldn't want that to happen, so double check that. In the event your mic isn't loud enough, add a filter. Select Sprocket by the Mic Auxiliary again, then choose Filters. Select the plus symbol, then choose Gain from the drop down. Move your slider up or down. This might take a few tries to get it right. In the event you don't want extraneous sounds, add a noise gate or noise suppression filter. So you'll go back to the filters, select noise gate from the drop down, and adjust it accordingly. Now let's go to the Streamlabs OBS settings. You're going to click the sprocket in the bottom left corner. Select video on the left. With base resolution, that's what you see. For output resolution, that's what you'll record. Adjust your size accordingly. Now keep in mind, the higher the resolution, the larger the file size. The same goes for FPS, or frames per second. I leave my defaults at 1920 by 1080 with 60 frames per second. You'll only see what your camera is capable of here. So if you don't have a camera that can handle 1080p, then it probably is not gonna pop up here. Select audio next. The gold standard is 44.1 kilohertz. If you have the audio to support 48 kilohertz, then you can do it here, otherwise just leave it at 44.1. Now select Output. We don't need to worry about anything but the recording section. Scroll down and select Browse. Choose the folder you want to record to and hit Select Folder when you're set. When it comes to recording quality, a little goes a long way. So you have three different types. You have high quality, medium file size. Now this is perfect for most everyone. So this specific video that I'm recording right now is the medium file size, so it's more than sufficient. Now the second file size is indistinguishable quality, and that's a large file size. And lastly is the lossless quality. This is a tremendously large file size. I wouldn't recommend it if you do not have a good PC with lots of storage. Streamlabs defaults to MP4, but you can change the recording format here should you need the footage for other purposes. I just leave my software settings where it defaults to. Now click Done, and then the Record button in the bottom right. Do all your recording, and then once you're set, click the Record button again and it'll stop. You can access your file in the folder you recorded to and enjoy. You might be saying to yourself, but hey, how do I edit this stuff? I actually have a full video over here where I showed how to do a Facebook cover video, but I showed my favorite editing software over there. So take a look at it in this video. And there's this other video YouTube says you should go take a look at. I'll see you in either one.